Welcome back. In this video, I'll be taking you through the first time setup of your Samsung Galaxy A07. Now, if you've just purchased this phone and you're unsure about how you're going to set it up, then I'll be showing you how to do so. So the first step when it comes to setting up this phone is to ensure that it's turned on. So go ahead and press on the side button or the power button until you see the logo to ensure that you've successfully turned on the device. If the phone does not turn on even after a few moments, then simply just plug in your phone to, uh, to charge. And then once you see it has enough charge, you can just go ahead and try turning it on again. So go ahead and just wait for it to turn on. And then the first thing that will happen is it will tell you welcome and bring you to this menu. So from here, you now need to choose the language you're going to be setting this phone with. So by default, it will choose your regional language, but you can tap on this drop down arrow and you can scroll through the list of available languages and select one you'll prefer to use. Then you can just tap on done to save the changes. And from here, just select start. and then it will start taking you through the process. So the first step is to agree to the end user license agreement as well as the privacy policy. You can choose to also agree to sending of diagnostic data, but that's an optional thing. So you can choose to either leave it alone or just select it. Once you've selected at least the end user license agreement and privacy policy, you can tap on agree to go to the next step. From here, you'll then be prompted to set up your A07 with a different device. Now you have Two options available. You can choose to set it up with another Galaxy or Android device. So if you have data on another device you'd like to transfer to this one, you can go ahead and choose to do so. Or you can choose to set it up with an iPhone or iPad. So it's up to you to decide if you want to use these options. If you want this to be an individual device, then you can always choose to just tap on set up manually and then you'll just go through the process of setting it up manually. The first step in setting it up manually is to choose a Wi-Fi network. So go ahead and select your Wi-Fi network and then enter in the password and then select connect. Once you've successfully connected to the network, just tap on next to move on to the next step. Then it will ask you to set up your service provider. So at this point, you can choose to insert your SIM card or you can just go through the process of setting up with a service provider. If you don't want to do that right now, you can always choose to just select restart and skip that step. Once the restart is complete, it will then tell you that it's getting your phone ready. So just wait patiently as it takes you to the next step of the setup process. Then from here, you can choose to copy apps and data again from a previous phone, or you can just choose to select don't copy and skip that process. Again, just because you've skipped doesn't necessarily mean that you won't be able to do so later. Once you've done that, it'll then bring you to the sign in with Google. Now you need to go through this process if you want to be able to use any of the Google services on your phone. For example, if you want to install apps from the Google Play Store, you need to have your Google account added. Now you can choose to do this now by entering in your details, or you can choose to skip and do that later. Again, if you're ready to skip, just select skip. You can also choose to go through the process of protecting your phone by setting up a fingerprint, face ID, pin, password, or pattern. So you can choose to do so now, or you can choose to skip. And then it will tell you the Google services that are currently going to be enabled as you use your phone. So it's up to you to decide if you no don't want Google services to use, say, for example, your location or even scanning. And then when you're happy with the customizations you've made, just scroll down and select accept. 
And from here, it will take a few moments to prepare you to go to the next step of the setup process, which is signing into your Samsung account. Now, you can sign into your Samsung account in multiple ways. You can choose to use your email or phone number. If you have a Google account added, you can choose to use your Google account. You can choose to sign in with a QR code, or you can tap on forgot password or don't have an account. And then you can go through the process of creating an account. Uh, if you forgot your ID, you can select forgot ID or even forgot password if you don't remember your password. Then you can go through the process of restoring your account so that you can sign in. However, if you don't want to set up your Samsung account right now, you can always choose to select set up later in settings. And then they'll tell you the things that you'll miss out on if you don't sign in. You can again set up in settings later. Then from here, you'll need to agree to the Samsung level legal service information which is the terms and condition anything else is optional so it's up to you to decide if you want to continue with those or not once you've agreed to the terms and condition just tap on agree and then tap on agree and choose your display mode whether it's light mode or dark mode then tap on next and it will prompt you to install recommended apps. So you can choose to either install or leave them uninstalled. It's completely up to you. Then just tap on next and then select home to finish up the setup. So from here, it will then prompt you to discover and install great apps. So you can choose to skip and do that later. And once you've done that, it will bring you to the home screen of your brand new Samsung Galaxy A07. So this is how it looks like. And now you can start using your device whenever, wherever. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and stick around for more videos about the Samsung Galaxy A07.